Hey yo, welcome back to uh, Diamond Beyond. Um, so it's uh, definitely sports are going and going. Uh, it feels good after having basically. Mo I don't even know how, how long it was. It kind of I think we all lost count after a while, but um, obviously months of not having any sports. Um, during the pandemic, we were, which we're still basically in just not really quarantine or anything um like how we were basically shut down the world but um yeah of course things are definitely all in a full swing um so usually we record this on a friday so that's what today is and um some big news i think it's still kind of in the works but um by sunday and this is halfway up. Um, OBJ from the on the Browns will probably be released. I saw some things that he was, but then I'm seeing that he's still there. I you don't know until probably Adam Scheffner or someone talks about it, or it's on lo news or ESPN everywhere. It's gonna be so. Of course, as we all know, um, once you see it a thousand times, you're gonna know it's true. Uh, by yourself like once or twice um so that's crazy you don't know where he's gonna if he does get released we don't know where he's gonna land because and also what's the whole deal with the money and blah blah, blah. of course as i said before you don't know the whole story of of basically any of this stuff no one none of us are in the locker room none of us are in the meetings but um the business out there and that's what these things are, but of course, there's always these things about how um, players have too much ego for some things, and just proof of other things, and just so much is going into everything in this world at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, sticking on to football, we got um, of course last week we had um, the Giants played on Monday Night Football against the Chiefs. Which, coming off of their huge win against Carolina, um, kind of expected a little bit more. Um, of course, there's always this, like, why plays. Like, you're watching with Strahan, Strahan and Eli Manning. So, if you don't know, Michael Strahan was a defense player on the Giants when they won the Super Bowl, along with Eli. And on Monday Night Football, the past, there's been a couple day, a nights, where um, his brother Peyton Manning and him Eli Manning, if you don't know who Peyton Manning is, he also has won Super Bowls, um, won it with Colts and um, yeah Broncos. Um, he actually won in his last year of playing. They do like a cool Monday Night Football commentating thing where they sit there, watch the game, and instead of just having Joe Buck or yes Akin. Ackman knows what he's talking about because, of course, he's he played. But you got two brothers that love the game, that know the game, that have won the game. Of course, again, um, Aikman has two. But it's just a con. It's just a, I it it does go more in depth. I like it. They they like really pick out the plays. They go through it and just kind of see what was in the mind like they do like when the play's going on like you get sometimes Eli or oh like that um he's the slant route blah blah um he's gonna go maybe go here here and maybe his decision was to do this for that play um yeah it's a more in-depth situation um it's fun it's cool they obviously can make fun of each other and they have different people come on they have um of course they've had Tom Brady they've had um Josh Allen, they've had WNBA players, they've had um, Gronk on there, they've had J Drew Brees, um, they just have had a number of um, awesome people and of course all their friends. Um, yeah, so um, that happened and then the Jets played the Colts this last Thursday on Thursday Night Football of course. Um, Started off fast with, started off average, both, they both scored, 
and then Colts kind of took it, and then the Jets kind of came back a little bit, but didn't make it enough. So, but it was good. It was pretty good. It was a it was a decently okay game. Um, he did lose 45 to 30, so the Jets did have a pretty big fight in them. They also let up pretty, not really. They didn't really give really a big fight on defense, but whatever. Um. Yeah, so that that's happening with them. They're two and f five now, I think. Two and six, because they're week eight, so it should be two and six for both teams. Um, yep, two and six. And um, yeah, just see what happens. Um, the rest of the leagues are doing pretty well. Of course, you got the Bucks and um, Bills and Ravens and. Um, a little bit sub not really surprising, but surprising. Uh, the Titans are in first. Cowboys are of car of uh, cars, of course. Just kind of taking them for um, the uh, division right now. They had five, six wins in a row, six wins in a row. Um, Cardinals are a pretty big surprise. They actually just had their first loss, I think last Thursday or something. Yeah, yeah, against against Green Bay. Um, that was crazy ending. Just pick off in the end zone. Time is over. Bam. We're like, wow, what the fuck? Um, and the other non-surprising things, of course, the uh, AFC East is not really surprising. Besides, of course, after having 19,000 years of Brady in there, the Patriots are not in first. But they're hanging in there. Um, NFC East is just a mess. It's always has been for years. Um, but and then it kind of lopsided, not really lopsided division. NFC North with uh, Packers seven and one, and you got the only team without a win in that division in the Lions with the coach that said he was gonna rip people's ears off with their, with with them um, just. Just ripping them off with their, his mouth. Um, they haven't won a game, but um, yeah, it's it's an awful swing. The Ravens are doing well. They've uh, no, um, actually the Bengals are quite surprised, sort of quite surprising. They they did get the uh, mm -hmm. pick from last from a year ago, and then got Jamar, I think Jamar Adams or so, I, I don't know how to say his name. I don't know, I'll have to say his name gave me Um, Jamar Chase. Um, of course he was um the unless he was teammates with Joe Burrow, who is now the quarterback for the last two years for the Bengals. He is on the Bengals with him, so this is helping I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um so they doing it pretty well. Um next I'm gonna do a little hockey. Uh of course my, my team the Rangers are doing pretty well. I think they're in second. Yep, second. Just a few wins behind the Panthers, who are 9-0. Uh, no. Hurricanes. Hurricanes are 9-0. Um, St. Well, Panthers are too. I just realized that. Um, St. Louis is pretty good, and Edmonton is in first in the Pacific. Um, so, let's see if there's any teams that have Okay. Uh, oh wow. Well. Oh, um, at first the Avalanche was winless, but I think it, no, it was the Coyotes, Arizona Coyotes. They are 0 and 9. So yes, only uh, defeated team in the division without a win. Um, yeah, I've been trying to watch as much um, as I can. I said this before, I've only had like three screens, two, two screens basically, my phone, my laptop, and um, I don't really have bought anything, but um, yeah, and I don't know how I didn't even start off with this. Um, congrats to the Atlanta Braves, who defeated, of course, the, uh, the Bang Bang Cheaters, 
in the World Series. Um, got there first since 1995, I think, right? And, Um, yeah, so they, I think it was, um, their 19, yeah, 1995, um, it's like Timber Jones and stuff on it, that was a big year, but, uh, Jorge Soler won the MVP that year, um, oh, that year, MB, uh, he won the MVP, uh, Freddie Freeman finally got his ring that he's been, uh, forced to so de desperately trying to get for the last 12 years um yeah so that's of course the whole u.s won <laughs> because the astros lost um you know there's uh of course as every off season there's an insane amount of great talent in the um um uh, that are free agents right now. Um, there have been many, already a bunch of contracts that are not being re out and they're not taking their options and all that stuff. And that will be slowly unfolding. I know um, Kevin Plour and the Mets um, already declined his and the team declined the team option. Then Gardy, Gar Brett Gardner, I think the same thing. Team option declined, he declined. I think Darren O'Day did the same thing for the Yankees. Um, so that's it so far. Um, yeah, of course, when things start um, heating up, it will go crazy. And see who has a big contract in their future for how they played this year. Um, so thanks for coming by. Um <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see what happens in the rest of these um, seasons for all these teams. And um, I'll see you next time on the Dugout and Beyond. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I'll see you. Peace.